another episode of The Stirrer. It's been a while, so I'm so, so excited to be back. We um, treated you to a vlog of ours. We hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't watched it, please go watch. I promise you we will make them more entertaining. That was just a regular day in life, so that's yeah. what you guys voted for. Um, but we have a new dilemma and that we wanted to share with you guys today. Uh, but to start off, what are we drinking, Sandra? We are drinking rosé because it's winter time, in case you couldn't tell. Um, it's December. <laughs> yeah. We haven't done this in a while. No, it's, yeah, it's been a while. So we, and we're like, I don't know if you can tell, but cozy vibes here. I'm in my leggings and just an oversized t-shirt. And we just thought, you know what? Let's keep it cozy because it is cold out. So anyways, cheers, cheers. To, back to returning back to the stir. Yes. Finally. All right. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and read us the newest uh, dilemma that was sent in. So again, don't forget to send us your dilemmas, just questions, funny stories um, to the stir at yahoo.com. All right. I just finished my last semester at SBCC and I got accepted as a transfer to a university close by. I'm so excited to continue furthering my education. But here's the thing. I've been with my boyfriend for a year and a half, and the truth is I don't feel the same way about him that I did before. I'm not in love with him, and I really, and I don't really see him being part of my future. I don't know how to tell him this because I think he really sees our relationship as a forever thing. I'm in a different place in my life than, we went, than when we first met, and I'm becoming a different person. I feel bad for him, but I need to do what's best for me. No advice is really needed, but I just had to get this off my chest. I'm curious to know how you guys would break things off in the same situation. Sincerely, one of your biggest fans. <laughs> um, I think the key thing here is I am not in love with him as I was before. Yeah. Right? I'm curious. Now, let me throw it back to you. Like, What do you think you would do in that situation? That's a hard question. And I think... I would be honest with the person. Maybe not. I don't know. Because <laughs> it's it's hard when someone's like, I'm not in love with you. you but know? I think it's like, okay, remove the university thing, put that aside. I feel that it's like, why would you stay in a relationship where you don't feel anything anymore just because you feel bad for them? Yeah, that's true. That you, That's a no-no. Don't ever stay in a relationship just because you feel bad for them. Yeah. Um, I think honesty is the best policy in this situation I don't think it always is but I think in this situation it is because yeah you just I mean it sounds like this person has outgrown the other person and that's okay like that happens in relationships and I think you have to respect where you are in life and it might not be the same place that other people are mm -hmm. yeah so I mean okay and as always we always like to throw it back to us like to our own experiences I've never had that experience but let's talk about this like we'll, we'll come back to the university thing and her like moving away it sounds like but like just have you ever been in a relationship where you don't feel anything for the other person anymore and it's you're having a difficult time breaking up with them that has happened in all of my serious relationships like there comes a time when and there and this is just me from personal experience in every single relationship that I've had there has come a time where I'm like oh dang like I don't feel the same way I did before mm -hmm. and I try to avoid it and then shit hits the fan and something happens but we end up breaking up mm -hmm. but at some point within all of those and it's not like I've had a bunch of relationships I really haven't but within at some point within all of those relationships mm -hmm. there's something that just like fell off and i just didn't acknowledge it and then something else happens that like causes a rupture in the relationship mm -hmm. so i'm just like maybe that's like the universe or like mm -hmm. god being like this isn't for you and like i'm gonna make sure you yeah don't stick true. around so um hopefully this girl or this i don't know if they said it was a girl but um this person gets a sign from god as well but the only experience I have, um, I'm kind of... Go ahead, say it. Okay, the, I don't, I mean, it was my second relationship of, like, ever. It, it was, like, my freshman year of high school, I remember. Um, 
And I remember I did it. I started dating this guy, not because I was I knew who he was, but one time I saw him walking down the hallway and I was like, oh, he's cute. <laughs> all great relationships. Yeah, right? And so I just told, I don't know who I told her, I was like, oh my god, he's cute, gotta have him. And so I got him. But then I was like, mm, yeah, not feeling it. And I was so um, embarrassed. I mean, yeah, I just, I had never broken up with somebody. And I was like, what do I do? Like, I feel so bad. Like, I'm gonna make him feel so bad. Like, what do I do? What do I do? Yeah. <laughs> Don't take this advice, girl or guy. What did you do? So, do you remember? So, you know Jose. Yeah. So, I met him in one of my science classes at Santa Rosa High School. And I told him, can you do me a big favor? And I'm like, <laughs> I was like, can you do me a big favor? I'm going to write a breakup letter and I need you to deliver it. <laughs> Okay, can I just say, I'm assuming the person who wrote this is over 14 years old, so hopefully at that, if, hopefully if you're, I mean, I feel like that's age appropriate. Okay, true, true. Yeah, like you're barely a teenager. True. And you're just kind of figuring out how to communicate yeah. with people and how to express your yeah. feelings, so I feel like that's totally age appropriate. Okay, so you're, so you're validating the word. Yeah. Okay, perfect, but that's what I did. Having said that, I don't recommend that. I think with this person, you just have to be honest. You yeah. have to, and don't do it over text. Don't write a letter. Mm -hmm. Don't do it over the phone. Do it in person. And I think, okay, let me throw it back to you again. How would you, if you were this person, how would you say, like if you had that other person right in front of you, how would you say that? I think I would say, hey. <laughs> and I feel like I've outgrown this relationship. I just want to explore different things. Mm -hmm. And then the other person would probably cry. Mm. <laughs> and then it would be like really awful. Uh, I don't know that I could. <sighs> yeah, I don't think I've ever broken up with someone in a, like an appropriate way. Ever. What do you mean an inappropriate way? And, and... Yeah, and, 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 um, and... Well, because even, like, yeah. after that one, mm, the other one that I've broken up with, that I've broken up with was maybe I was... 18? 18? Yeah. So I broke up with that one, and it was still kind of, I just ghosted him. <laughs> Classy. Okay, but I have to say, I ghosted him. I just, one, I outgrew their relationship, yeah. but two, I just doesn't, didn't like what he was doing because he was doing things he wasn't supposed to be doing while, he, while you're in a relationship. So that's so how he was I, cheating. Yeah, he was cheating. And so that's how I just ghosted him. Yeah. I just, I was like, yeah, like, never mind, kind of thing. And then that was it. That was the end of that. Um, okay, what if you were the other person that someone's breaking up with you because they just outgrew the relationship? Like, uh, I mean, that's happened too. Like, I've been on both ends of mm -hmm. this situation, and I'm not gonna lie, it's like pretty devastating being on the other side. But like you cry about it for a week and then you kind of realize that it was time for you to move on too. Yeah. And I think that comes also with like maturity. Obviously, if I was like a teenager and that happened, mm -hmm. true. Then I would be devastated. devastated. Yeah. But also I feel like when you're a teenager, you bounce back from things. Well, I think just in general, that's a good point that you're making. I think just in general, you bounce back from and I'm talking more specifically about like breakups and things like that. You bounce back. In that moment, you feel like the whole world's caving in, like, no, there's no hope. There's like but no, like there's always like you bounce back. But I do wanna say it depends on on the type of person that you are because for some people it does take them longer to mm -hmm. get over things and I mm -hmm. think for other people, you know, they just really quick like they're very resilient or mm -hmm. sometimes they avoid their feelings and they don't ever address it and then it comes up in another relationship yeah yeah um, which i feel like there's a lot of possibilities and i think that sorry i'm just not backing off of what you said but you're saying they should be honest it sounds like almost like they were gonna use the university thing as an excuse well yeah yeah which is probably what i would do because i don't like hurting people's feelings and I feel like it's kind of like a cop out to be like, it's because I'm going to university and mm -hmm. like, you know. Now, also though, like personally, me if someone was breaking up with me, I you know what would hurt me? Those words of I've outgrown this relationship that would hurt me. 
Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, mm-hmm. I would, that's why I would use another. Yeah. So I, what I would say is, well, like, let me tell you what I would love to hear, right? Because what even, like to hear? even with my husband, I've been very uh, upfront about like, if that time were to ever come, like, and that's not saying anything. It's just like. You just want him to be honest? I just, my whole thing is like, I don't care how long we've been together. I don't care what type of, like, I don't care. One, be honest and just tell me, like, you know what, like, this, I don't feel like I, I feel like I, don't even say need some space. Don't say that. Oh, that triggers me. Don't say I need some space. For me. That's just me for me. What I would like to hear is just simply, you know, um, I feel like I'm not, I'm not happy in this relationship. Um, I don't think I can continue with this relationship and that's it. I don't need a background. I don't need a further explanation because if further you're explained and that's to me, that's just excuses, excuses, excuses to try to protect me. Don't protect me. It's fine. I'd rather you be honest with me than try to protect me. That's or me. Trying to protect themselves. Or trying to protect themselves. You could get a little combative. Yeah. Yeah. Because if he says, I don't like you, I don't feel the, like, how am I going to argue that? I can't force right. you. I can't force you to like me or love me forever. I can't, you know? So I also hope this person that whom this person is planning to break up it off with, that they're also mature about it. Let Just it go. let it go. And I think that's probably the best advice we've ever given. Not that we give advice ever. Um, but I think that's a really good suggestion is to just learn how to let things go and learn how to detach from things, right? Because what, what's meant for you is always going to be for you. Yeah. You know, and I am a pretty firm believer in that. Like, things don't work out for a reason. Things don't work out in relationships. Like, if you're buying a house and it doesn't work out, like, that's not what you were, the house you were meant to live in. That's not the relationship you were meant to be in. Or, like, if a job doesn't call you back, like, that's not the job you were meant to be at. Everything works out the way it's supposed to. Yeah. So, there might be, I don't want to, I don't mean to be getting into a whole different topic kind of thing. But that's why, like, for me, it's, like, when I see people that have been dating since they were 13, 14, and yeah. they're still together, and, like, like us are in our 30s or whatever, I'm, like, whoa. Wait, who's in their 30s? <laughs> I'm, like, whoa. Like, that's, that's big. Because I just feel that, like, those 14-year-old relationships, 15, 16, even 18, those are just your trials. <laughs> I feel that that's how you learn about what you want, what you don't want in a relationship. It's just, it's really, like, shocking for me to see that people actually, like, make it through that because, not that it's a negative thing, I'm just, I, 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 when I look at that, I'm like, whoa, like, that's amazing that you were able to get through those years where you're still finding yourself. Right. And you were still able to stick together because I look back at those relationships and, like, in those, and when I look back at my younger years and those relationships I had, oh, I thought I was going to marry them and all yeah. this and that. And now looking back, I'm like, why? Like, literally, no. I feel like every relationship, <laughs> like, not you, but no, but no, yeah. Too. I'm like, yeah. I'm gonna marry this person. Like, this is the love of my life. And then, in retrospect, obviously, everyone has 2020 vision. When you look back, <laughs> you're like, oh shit! Like, I was like really settling for that, like a medium ugly guy. <laughs> <laughs> I will never remember one of the best advice. One Wait, the- never forget. You said never remember. Oh shit! <laughs> when it never, I one thing I will never forget is like my mom growing up always gave me the advice of like, don't marry the first guy you date because that way you don't settle and you know what you're looking for in a guy. And I did, <laughs> and I appreciate her advice on that. So again, this girl like, yes, you're feeling bad for this your significant other but like look like you still got so much to learn yeah like once you start college or university it's a whole other kind of maturity level and this right. person too like i hope that this person finds their other half as well and you know yeah so and once you start university you'll probably meet someone else and you're gonna be like oh my god this is the love of my life and then something will happen and you'll break up with that person <laughs> too and then find somebody <laughs> yeah. else and then eventually, hopefully, you'll find the person that you're meant to be with. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, but that. yeah, that's what we got to say with that. Um, I'm curious what you guys would do. And we'll probably do like a poll on Instagram. Yeah. And like, um, of how long. I, I, I'm always curious about how long people have been together because of that sort of thing. 
like i just feel like if you've been together so long like whoa how did you go through this little stage in your life and that stage and that stage like well i was in a relationship for like five and a half almost six years that was the worst relationship ever so. but you didn't see that until when until after which is what i'm saying in retrospect everyone has 2020 vision so i feel like if you step back and you look at the bigger picture this is just a microscopic piece of your life yeah you know like everything's a learning opportunity mm -hmm. so yeah and i get that you want to protect it sounds like you want to protect this other person but that's not your responsibility, responsibility. Yeah. it's not it's good it shows like you have a good heart and this yeah. and that, but it's not your responsibility to protect the other person you don't like them that's fine it's all also obviously has to do with how you break up with them you can't right. be like i'm done with you bye like never talk to them like no like have their respect because of what you're sharing have their respect to have a good conversation with this person mm -hmm. um but that's that's all i gotta say with that any other comments? No, I feel like you closed it up really nicely. And again, I just want to reiterate. I said no, but I just want to reiterate <laughs> that, yeah, like everything happens for a reason. You know, what's meant for you is always going to be for you. And congratulations on moving on to a university. Yeah, like that's like, big. Yeah. yeah. So... Good luck with your career and your love life. Yeah. All right, guys. Don't forget to be sending your dilemmas, questions, funny stories to the stir at yahoo.com. As always, we want to remind you that we are very big on keeping things confidential. Yeah. Um, so please, please don't be scared to do that. Go ahead and send them in. And also keep posted for like another one of our vlogs. Um, we do want to just mix it up a little bit based yeah. on what you guys are asking for. So thank you for all your support thus far. We've been doing this for a year now. Do you realize that? I actually did. I got a memory, like a notification. That's and you know, like I, I get that like we have a lot to learn and things to like, and so we yeah. appreciate all your feedback. Don't ever think that like we're like offended. We appreciate it. We appreciate all your support and we're only wanting to go from here and learn from here. So please, please, please keep supporting us. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe and we will see you guys at the next episode bye bye okay don't move okay what episode is it okay we'll just hi guys well i was here okay i was gonna one. say welcome back okay one but i like yours more the other thing too and this is not to go too much off topic but i feel that um I just lost my turn of thought, so you can delete this. That happens a lot. <laughs> I'll put this in the. Is your baby sleeping? Oh, yeah, I have my baby sleeping. So, mm -hmm. anyway, these are my socks. <laughs> You're like, just so light. Oh, this is like recording. That's the video.